Hey guys, it's Just Cards by Sarah. Today I want to show my helping hand, deco art helping hand package um, that I got. Um, I'm just going to go through. I've got a helper at the moment. Say hi, Mum. Hi, Mum. <laughs> hi, Mum. Um, as you can see, Deco Art's a great brand. They do paint, stencils, all sorts, but I'm going to show you some of the stuff they do and I'm going to have some tutorials coming up showing you guys how to use the products and what they do and all that fun stuff. Okay, I'll move this out of the way. Okay, first of all, we've got some stencils. You know me and my stencils. This one is a cog one. Um, this one's called Gears and Cogs. So as you can see, it's got cool different sorts of cogs. 12 by 12. Um, this one, they, they only come in 12 by 12 if you want to purchase it. Um, this one is in the Americana range and it is tie-dyed. So it's a big tie-dyed, as you can see. Okay, and then I've got some Andy Skinners. These ones are the 12 by 3 inch ones. So you can see they're cool numbers and things. It's just long and skinny. And that one is, so that's under the Andy, Andy Skinner. It's called Distressed Digits. Okay, I might move that out of the way. Alright, and then here's another one. This one's called time warp and you can see it's got lovely cogs it's got this awesome clocks in it and the clock hands but I really think they're cool they're great for mixed media this one's called bubbles so it's got all the different sorts of bubbles again they are 12 by 3 inches so I'll put them in the frame oh keep the thing okay then I've got the children one which you get the inserts to so this one's called is it just children children yeah, it's different languages. Um, and you've got like a balloon, a kite, the two kids, and another two kids bigger. So I thought, um, I want to get into art journaling. I thought maybe they might help. This one, you've got, well, I'll show you this design up here. It's, as you can see, the girl and another girl with some stars. And you also get like the inserts. So, um, Um, and then here, this one, you get two ladies, and you can see with the hat, um, speech bubble, couldn't think of the word then, and then you've got the inserts. This one's called Vogue, and the other one's called Hippie Chick. And the girl one, the kid one's called Children. So Children, this one's Hippie Chick, so the two... Ladies, and then this one with the ladies with looks like high heels and a jacket and little hats is called Vogue. Okay, and the next one's called Baroque, I think it is. And again, they're all under the Andy Skinner mixed media line. And it's got like the two different, um, hang on, I'll show you the top, it's easier to sort of see. So you've got this corner design, the two faces, and then this kind of um, corner design too. Okay, I'll just move them off. Then we've got this one, so they're like swirls as you can see, um, it's called Whirlpool, so there's that one. Um, then this one is Have Your Say, and it's each letter, and then you've got your numbers and your symbols. Oh, and the size of these ones are 6x6. Six six. Okay, we've got another 6x6 six six one, this is Coral, and this one is, as you can see, it's just that lovely coral design. Um, this one's half tone. And this one is 8x8. Eight eight. So you've got like all those different shapes, uh, different shapes, different size circles. Um, there's this one, creativity, again, 8x8. Eight eight. And as you can see, it's got art, breathe, 1, 2, 3, imagine, create, destiny, your, I assume, create your destiny. Um, own, love, life. So it's got all sorts of words there. The next one is under the Americana line, and these ones are six by nine, I think, six by eight. So this one's Aztec pattern. So you can see it's got that Aztec pattern there. This one's called Daisy Chain. So you've got all little daisies in a line. Short circuit, I love this one. It kind of reminds me of like inside of a computer or something, you know, like the circuit board. Um, and then this one's pixelated, so you've got those all those different circles. 
So that is under the Americana line. Okay, we've got a couple more under the Americana decor line. So this one here is called Botanicals, and you've got these this big leaf and the little leaf. So it looks like that up there. You actually get two in this pack. So you get these leaves and you get this. So all of these are available on their website or you can get them at your local stockists. Um, and then this one is called Ocean Life and as you can see you get, oh, I've kind of blurred there for a second, the seahorse you get the corals, the seashells and that bigger seashell. And then this one here is called Birds and Birds and Bees. So you're getting these birds on branches and you're also getting these two size bees. So um, they're quite a big size for a project if you wanted to use them as you can see. Um, it would have to be a big um, wall piece. Okay, these ones I thought were interesting. They actually come and they're like cardboard, a thick, very thick cardboard. Um, but these ones are under the v v value craft line under deco art and it's got the joy to the world as you can see with the um, swirly flourish underneath and this tree but I just thought they were really pretty and that would be a good um, the size is 8 by 8 so you've got the leave I thought this would be good for Christmas because I don't really have any like snowflake stuff for Christmas um, as you can see there's little um, snowflakes believe and then you've got the biggest snowflakes and they've created a project there with it as you can see but we don't have snow here in well we do in some parts but not where we are and not at Christmas um, here is another one dashing through the snow okay what was that one called but was that called I didn't name the name of it that one was called believe this one's dashing through the snow and you've got the reindeers and the dashing through the snow and then there's some Halloween-y ones, and it's under that value craft line. This one is called Poison, and it says, pick your poison. And then you've got that skull and crossbones. We've got the Grim Reaper, and they're coming. And this one's called Grim Reaper. So it says, they're coming for you, and it's got the two hands. I thought the hands were really cool, that's why I got it. Um, this one is called Creepy. And you've got the creeper, the the creepier, the better. And then you've got those hands coming like out of the ground. But they're quite large. Um, like I usually get stencils and use parts of stencils where this would have to be like your main focus of your project, um, like a 12 by 12. Um, the size of these are eight. They're all eight by eight. So this is Day of the Dead. Um, and again, you've got that day of the dead with the skulls and you've got that um i can't remember the name dies mortis or something yeah <laughs> day of the dead and then as you can see like they've used it for the main focus and then this one i love this one along came a spider and then you've got the spider's web and then the little baby spider so that one's called spider okay now i'm going to start with the products um, first of all, I've done a sheet of what the products do and what they look like. So I will show you that in a sec as I show you the products. Okay, we've got Crackle Medium. So this one is like a thick, um, thick. It's actually like a runny paint. So that to me is, so the only way I can just put, explain it is it's like a crackle paint. But I'm going to have some videos coming up. Um, so that's under the Americana Decor range. We've got under the mixed media range, Crackle Glaze. So the Crackle Glaze is like a thin, shiny glaze, but it's got the crackles. And you get like that egg, shack, egg shell crackle. I don't know if you can actually see. It's picking up on the camera there. So that's called uh, Crackle Glaze. So you'd put that over the top to seal something, or you could actually add pigment to it. Um, like alcohol ink or... You could add um, mica. This one's called Snowtex by Joko Art. And as you can see, it's kind of a... It's got that fake snow added to, like, texture paste. 
Okay, we've got crackle paint, and this is just like a thick paint with crack that cracks, so um, it comes in white. Then this one's a crackle paste, so it's like a te texture paste, and as you can see on top, it just crackles. Um, but you can use this through stencils. You could actually use most of these through stencils. You couldn't use the glaze because it's too runny. Um, this one's texture paste, but it's got like a scritty sand texture to it, as you can see there. So it's actually, as you can, it's just got sand added to texture paste. Then this one is gesso in black. That's your base. Um, most people would use that just as a, um, like underneath or, you know. Before you sprays and things like that. This one is a dimensional effect. It is a texture paste and I'm going to try it. Um, I'm going to try like the difference between the texture paste, the dimensional effects and some of the other products they have and see which one's better and we'll, we'll have a video on all that stuff. Then this one's called Triple Thick and it is like a thick gloss to go over the top. So it is um, in the deco, just a plain deco art range. And then, as you can see, that shine. So it's just like a thick. It kind of reminds me of, um, what was that one, that thing I used to use in the old days? Um, glossy Accents. And then this one's just plain texture paste. So you've got, um, this one is in, as you can see there, it's in like a white colour. Um, and then this one, so like I said, I've got this texture paste, and where is, and the dimensional effects is another texture paste, so we're going to try all them out, a couple, and the crackle texture pastes. Okay, and the tinting base, this is um, just a paint that you would tint and add colour to. Okay, this one is modelling paste, so like I said, you've got like your texture paste, your modelling paste, they're all the same sort of thing, but like I said, they're all different names, so they're all a form of texture paste, so we're going to be trialling them out, but this is in the black colour. We've got modelling paste in clear, so we've got a clear, a white and a black so far, and you can see it's just a flat, non-shiny texture paste so you could use that through stencils so this is in the deco art media line um, this one's the ultra matte varnish so it's just a varnish that's matte we've got the matte medium so it's just a matte um, just a like you can use it as a glue you can use it as a um, you could lay it with tissue paper you could um, coat it over the top like as Mod Podge it's just it's very similar to like a Mod Podge form this is, is gesso in white, we're blurry, so as you can see, just plain gesso. Okay, we've got heavy gel medium, and again, that's just a flat, matte, um, like on top, like a Mod Podge. And we've got gloss varnish, so um, it's glossy as you can see. And that um, triple thick that I mentioned, it's actually quite thick um, and quite shiny. Okay, and then we've got here photo transfer medium deco part, a uh, deco page range, Americana deco art. So you get quite a big bottle. 